Hey everyone, good morning. Welcome to Pearls of Eden. Thank you for joining me once again for today's word, which for Motivation Monday, it's going to look a little bit different, but it's going to be a word that's going to be encouraging and help you to know how to pray a wise, wise prayer request that is found in Proverbs 30 that many overlook and neglect. You know, it's so easy for us to make our request to God. We want a great career. We want to be successful. But in all things, we've got to remember to acknowledge God and that what even we ask is aligned to his will, right? We don't want to walk on through a path that's going to take us to destruction. It looks beautiful. It looks glorious. It looks abundant, but it pulls us away from the one we say we love, right? So this this prayer that is found, a request in Proverbs 30, um, verse 8, it's powerful. Agur is a man who was the son of Jacheth, and he is teaching these wise words of wisdom to those who are under his tutelage. Now, we know Solomon was said to write the book of Proverbs. He was a very wise man, very wealthy man. He knew the vanity of wealth and riches and really of having even too much wisdom. Solomon knew these things. And so let's take a look at what Agur, the man who taught so many people wisdom of God. Verse 7, it says, Two things I request of you. Deprive me not before I die. Remove falsehood and lies far from me. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Feed me with the food allotted to me. Lest I be full and deny you. And say, who is the Lord? Or lest I be poor and steal and profane the name of my God. What a wise prayer. Because he's saying, give me neither too much wealth, but Lord, don't give me poverty either. Give me a balance that you know that I can steward well. How many of you know some people get all the wealth and all the riches and they act brand new for real, for real. Like they change it up, they switch it up. So, so much so the one that they were walking with, they were walking with God, life was good, they had what they needed, but then it's just like they just, the money changes them in a way. Well, what it does, it brings out what was already within them that was not managed properly, that was not brought under the Most High God to be um, disciplined. And so when you get all that money, it just brings more about your troubles, more about who you are, more about what you're already struggling with. You just have money. And so it really can make things worse, you know, because you have access to so much more. So what a wise prayer Agur is teaching these young men, hey, neither ask for too much wealth and neither ask to be poverty poor, but ask the Lord to give you your daily bread, to give you the money that he knows that you can manage and steward to have a balanced, comfortable life. He wants you to prosper. He wants you to be abundant but not to the point where it draws you away from him. And how many of you know some people cannot handle wealth? Filthy lucre, the love of money. It's not that money is bad, but the love of it. They begin to get drunk off of it. And they begin to get drunk off of power. And they be get, get, begin to get drunk off, everybody's looking at me, look at me, I'm VIP, right? The best of the best. And they start drinking their own Kool-Aid, and then it's a sad fate because what in the end they find out is what is all vanity. So I want to give you that prayer, you know, for you to ask the Lord, keep me far from falsehood and lies because the deception is high in these last days that I talk about all the time in Matthew 24. If it were possible, even the elect could be deceived. So what a beautiful prayer to say, Father, keep me in the truth. Preserve me in the truth. It's not by might or power, but it's by your spirit. Hallelujah. Preserve me in the truth. Keep me from falsehood. And the second part of that prayer is this. Give me neither poverty nor wealth, but give me my daily bread. Give me what you know, Father God, that you have allotted me to steward. May I do an amazing job with it. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Add that to your request. I pray that this gave you something to think about, to um, understand. I'm sorry, guys, this just annoys me so much. Let me put this back. But I just hope that it gave you something to think about, to meditate on, you know, how important it is neither to have poverty because it calls you to steal and profane the name of the Lord. And the Bible says, I've never seen the righteous begging for bread, right? So 
You don't want to be poor, but you don't want to be so wealthy that it takes you away from the living God. So he knows what you can handle. So acknowledge him in all you're getting and all you're pursuing and everything you're looking to gain. Make sure it is aligned to his will. Because there's a lot of people that have made requests for fame, for riches, for wealth. And in the end, they find out it's all vanity. All right, guys, I love you all. Have a beautiful day in the Lord. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your time. And God be with you.